Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Melin Chinde. So today I just want to talk about, uh, talk to all the PG aspirants, whether you are in the intern, whether you are a person who is working and preparing for the PG or you, are, you have taken a drop and you are uh, sitting at home and preparing for PG. You are Indian medical graduate or a private college uh, student or a foreign medical graduate. I just want to tell you a few facts about life. Is when I started uh, my preparation after I completed my internship. Like when I started doing my internship, everyone uh, was running behind uh, PG prep that okay they want to get done with the PG. So most of us were not very much interested into internship and they started uh, just uh, you know preparing and they used to bunk internship uh, postings and were only reading, reading, reading. But you know guys, what I did during my internship was I totally focused on my internship. Because I wanted to, uh, you know, enjoy that phase. Because I know that internship happens only once in life, and this time is not going to come back. So I, I'm, I'm not telling you to follow what I did. I'm just tell, sharing with you what, how I proceed uh, in my uh, life. Because you know, what we live in a society, there are you know certain guidelines that are laid, and we feel that okay, we have to follow that. If we don't clear PG attempt in first go, we feel depressed. We feel worthless. We feel like we are not up to the mark. Everybody wants to just get away with it. You know, we always uh, tell a joke that when we are in 10th, our, our parents tell us, okay, just study for this year, then rest of the life is fun. Then you are in 12th and the same thing is uh, told to you. But you know, for a medical student, it never ends. Like, you know, in an internship, they tell you to study for PG, then you go into PG, then there is a tireless working. I mean, we are doing so much in PG prep that it's like you are very heaven on the other side. But no, it's again a hardship on the other side. When you do PG, then you are being told that you have to either do a DM or fellowship or you have to again go into another rat race. So it is not going to end. So what I, because I, and maybe I had just figured out this thing then that I concentrated on enjoying my internship. I made a lot of friends. I had my seniors and I am very happy that I still have that bond with my seniors who were my, I mean, PG that time. And they still, uh, I mean, on our Facebook we talk and, you know, we tell about, okay, what are you doing in your life? And I think that period was also important. I learned a lot of clinical skills. I got that confidence because, you know, as an intern, you don't have any responsibility, but you get that time to learn and, you know, sharpen your skills. And you not only learn how to do the clinical procedure, but you get the lessons of your life. That your uh, PGs, you know, they tell you what you should do in your life. And, you know, you get to do about everything. You know, I had no idea about the permitted seats or the permanent seats. And there are so many things that I learned during my internship. So if you are an intern and if you feel that uh, you should, uh, you know, the P and if you are scared of next, I don't think there is any reason to be scared of next. Because every year the patterns are changing, there will always be something. After a few years, there will be another uh, shift of pattern. And it's still uh, just an exam. So you shouldn't be worried, worried about uh, that part. So whatever phase you are, it's very important to enjoy that phase. Because this time is not going to come again. The students who are preparing, you know, I sometimes, like when I got into PG, when I started my residency, I used to miss that preparation time. You know, in preparation time, I had luxury that uh, I prepared uh, for two, uh, I mean, after my internship, I took I took a drop. And during that time, you know, I had uh, this feeling that I used to wake up at any point I want. If I want to sleep a little bit more, I can sleep. I can have tea whenever I want. There is no one to tell me to do this and that. Now I have to wake up on time. I have to report on my duty at 9. And since last 3-4 years, since I got into my PG and now I'm doing my SRship, so I have to report at 9. I, have, I cannot leave before 4. I have to... Then I have to go to my clinic. I have to follow these all the uh, timelines. Even Sunday, I have, I have to be. Uh, I'm occupied. But no, that was the period during my preparation time. Whether I was, you know, I was just reading, reading, reading. And I used to enjoy that time. And sometimes, you know, during residency also, I used to miss that time. That when I had uh, my luxury. I know there are there is a lot of pressure when you are preparing. But I think it's very important to enjoy that phase because you know, even if I want to want now, I cannot go back and uh, prepare again. Even if I am preparing for, let's say, further examination, DM, I don't have luxury to sit back and, you know, just uh, read. Because now I have to work. You know, most of us are uh, like, uh, you will have different responsibilities at a different phase of life. So it's very important that whatever phase you are in, it's very important to enjoy that phase. Because, you know, we always run behind these things. But I think, uh, you know, uh, we should not be worried. Even I, I, I understand that during my PG preparation, I was very much uh, under pressure and scared of exams. But I never stopped enjoying that phase. 
whenever like you know uh, if you are a work if you are working like if you are working and preparing simultaneously it is very important to give attention to your workplace you know there also you learn lot of things you enjoy that phase because you know lot of students they are uh, their mind is on the studies they are like about pg exam and everything and they are working also so both things are uh, i mean totally ruined so it's very important whatever what uh, message i want to give through this video that you are if you are in turn or if you are uh, uh, sitting at home you know just enjoy this phase you are giving your best you are studying a lot but pg exam is not everything you'll figure it out it took a while for me also to get into uh, residency and you know we always enjoy and people only celebrate the success stories but there are students like me who were not uh, who were average students and uh, but who were continuously uh, doing hard work and eventually got into residency so it's not residency is not for toppers like it's not like if you are a topper or if you are a very brilliant you'll get into residency residency the students who are consistent who hang on there they are the ones who will end up getting their dream uh, come true so what uh, i want to tell you guys just hang on there enjoy the phase don't take too much stress you know what we have is one life and you have to enjoy every phase these days are not going to come back i used to you know during our time we have jipma rams pgi neat so many dnb so many exams you know we i was so addicted to these ranks like you know like i was when i got into finally uh, into residency i used to miss that also that you know to wait for the result and you know that curious <clears throat> that suspense and everything that was gone so it is very important to enjoy uh, the phase i know it's difficult but you know there is no point in worrying and crying and you know taking too much of stress because you can have a better things in life you know i never regret that i got let into pg as compared to my friends because maybe i would have not met those wonderful people who are in my life today i would i wouldn't have those memories which i which happened so you know good things happen uh, people who wait and who keep uh, working on their dreams so guys don't regret what you are doing enjoy the phase that you are in and good things will happen so take care of yourself and i wish you all the best